Come in. Which? Yep. Boyfriend? Unfortunately. Shouldn't he be a frog? Not very good at spells. You know, my mother-in-law's a bit of a witch herself. Have you tried changing him back? He started off as a pumpkin, so you see, lobster was the closest I could get to human. As a lobster, do you feel inferior to her as a human? <laughs> what else is an issue? <laughs> That's not such a bad thing. I like seafood. Why did you take him out to a seafood restaurant? I really like seafood. How does that make you feel? <laughs> you know, a lot of people love lobster. What are some other issues that you're having in your relationship? Maybe not seafood related? <laughs> and what about you? He never uses our hot tub anymore. We spent so much money on it. <laughs> and how do you feel about that? It makes me really upset. I'm sorry I didn't turn you into something cooler. So it says here yours is the, the one hour appointment, huh? I guess. It was the only one available. This is awkward. <sighs> so you said you were. Will your significant other be joining us today? Oh, he's here. Or are you, Kevin? Yeah, I'm here. Is he a ghost? Nope, just invisible. He's the invisible man. If you were invisible, I'd be able to see his clothes though, right? Let me ask you something. If you didn't have to wear pants, would you? Ask yourself that and then get back to me. Fair point. So, what's going on in your relationship? Well, for starters, he's a horrible person. Kevin? Just let her run it out. It's better this way. See what I mean? For example, the other day I came home and he's like, Hey cutie pie, how's your day? And it was terrible. So I started telling him about my day and I even started crying. And then I asked him what he thought. That's healthy communication. It would be if he wasn't standing in the living room watching TV. He left right after he asked. <laughs> uh, sorry, it was a boring story. Every time. Every time! You need to be there for her, even though you can slip out so easily. And I can't even take him anywhere. There was one time that we went out to try something on for a dinner party. There we go again. Yeah, here we go again, Kevin. And I heard his voice two changing rooms down. Easy for you to judge. You didn't see what walked in there. What am I, the Hey, you can't just do that in general. That's horrible. No, you can't do that. I can. Invisible man, sweetheart. You knew what this was. You're a horrible person, you know that? Well, I think this is a good breakthrough. All right, my 10.30, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Frankenstein's monster. What would you say is the main issue in the relationship? I think there's a communication issue. Sometimes it goes in one ear, out the other. And how do you feel about that? <sighs> I just feel like he doesn't listen or shares how he feels. Is that true? Do you bottle things up inside? Uh, I just feel like he doesn't care. Honey, honey, can I do the talking now? Listen, you always do the talking. I've got something to say. Now I feel like she's just always blowing off how I feel. She'd rather just listen to her parents. Is this true? Do you just tone him out? I don't do that. I'm very supportive of everything you say. Come on, honey. Your mom, she lit all those candles the other day, and then your dad showed up with a pitchfork, and then they had torches outside. I think you're just always looking for a reason not to like them. Well, if they think I'm some kind of monster, I mean, how am I supposed to feel about that? Well, Frankenstein... Hey, that's my father's name, who abandoned me. My name's Steven. 
He never wants to go to my parents' lake house. Listen, I'm just, I'm just not good around lakes, all right? Lakes aren't my thing. There was lightning last night and he was running around the house. Oh, lightning just makes me feel alive. On his license, he's not even signed up to be an organ donor. Hypocrite. Hey, I just have a thing with doctors, you understand? Like, it's just a thing. Well, I think this is a good breakthrough. Do you want to sit over here? It's probably better by the window. Another wolfman? No, not a wolfman, just a guy. Will your significant other be joining us? She's probably running a little late. I think she's stuck in traffic. Hey, found you. That's legitimately terrifying. No, I know, it is. What are some problems that you're having in the relationship? So, uh, there's some problems. Go on. Well, she said she doesn't want me wearing horizontal stripes anymore. Well, horizontal stripes make you look shorter. And you'll wear heels. I look great in heels. All the, okay, yeah. She does look good in heels. I'll give her that. I just, it doesn't really matter at this point. You know what I mean? I think height and securities need to be thrown out the window. Don't throw anyone out the window. I mean, does it make a difference to you? I mean, what, you're like the 50-foot woman? She's more like 62 and a half. Where do you get clothing? Do you know how hard it was to make this sweater? It looks very nice. And uh, what do you do for work? I work in construction. Uh, it's more or less demolition, uh, but it pays the bills. You'd think a studio apartment's expensive and air hangers a lot more. There are sleeping arrangement problems. I stretch out a little bit when I sleep. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna just roll over on one of these times. It's gonna be bad. This kind of sounds more like logistics. The other day I came home, she had a long day at work, tried to give her a massage. Next thing you know, suddenly she's ticklish, cracks three of my ribs. I didn't mean to. Natural reaction. Ouch. Obviously, you're gonna tickle. Your hands are tiny to me. So, what do you do for fun? We go to a lot of parks. Sounds reasonable. Last year, we went to the Redwood Forest so she could feel normal. It was awesome. Well, at least that was a nice gesture. Anything else bugging you? <clears throat> I guess I can be insensitive sometimes because a flock of birds flew into her hair and I laughed because I thought it was funny. It was funny. It'll be funny later. And you didn't think that was funny? But he threw a good mess. It wasn't funny. Go on. Sometimes I'll actually ask her what the weather's like up there, not because I'm making a tall joke, but because it legitimately looks bad from where I'm at. Sometimes it's really windy up here. I hate it. All right, I, I can I can see what you're talking about. Anything else? Uh, sometimes it takes us a while to figure out where we want to go eat. Well, maybe if you could pick where you wanted to eat, it wouldn't take forever. Yeah, I am a picky eater. I think maybe you should make an exception and just eat wherever you can at this point. Go freedom. Um. Oh, good. Normal people. I swear, today's been a relative circuit. So it's like a DVD box set walked in. Great! Can we go now? No, just... I'm guessing there's something here I'm not seeing. He's a werewolf. Guess I'm your bonus disc today. I'm... that was unprofessional. It's fine, I'll just mark your office later. So, 
What's going on between you two? Well, for starters, all the drains are clogged. Werewolf! What do you expect? It just sucks back into me? I shed! He brought fleas in! Those were from your dog. You know Max gave those to me. Now I'm the culprit. I mean, you could trim. Do I look like a poodle to you? I'm the wolf man. Werewolf. I'm not some show dog. I find your hairs all the time. But do I suggest putting a flea collar on you and shaving you? No, I don't. That's a good point. Maybe you can meet in the middle. Yeah, maybe we could meet in the middle. But maybe I wouldn't nervously shed if someone didn't only vacuum during the full moon. It's terrifying. And you know the messed up part? She does it on purpose. I'm even scared of it when I'm normal. How do you think you're gonna get over the vacuum then? I was just trying to get a jump on the mess you'll make. Besides, you chewed the furniture. Because you yelled at me when I chewed up one of Max's toys. How do you think Max felt? He's a dog. I bought that toy for myself. You know, you always take his side. Of course I'm going to take his side. He is our dog and I love him. Do you see what I deal with? Do you know how hard it is to sleep when you're howling at the full moon? You keep saying there's raccoons, but I never see them. They're taunting me. Are they? Yeah, Because I they don't are. see them. Oh, well, they are. You know, I think his real issues aren't the vacuum or the dog or anything like that. I think his anxiety comes from his abandonment issues. You know, my dad was more aware than wolf. He left when I was a pup. Do you know how embarrassing it is when you go outside and your boyfriend's in the front yard of your neighbor's house and he's just digging a hole and everybody can see? I know how embarrassing it was. I was there. I did it. And they'll never find those bones. They'll totally find it. Find I think that's enough for today. We got a lot out and it was healthy. We should definitely reschedule for another appointment though. There's a lot of work to do. Okay. Let's go to a park, hon. I hate Halloween. Yeah, that last couple's doomed. Kevin, were you here the whole time? Yeah. That was all very confidential information. You know that, right? Yeah. All right, let's go.